Hey guys, it's Blaze VR from VRBlend.com, and uh, today we're going to be looking at the Kindle Paperwhite 3, one of Amazon's top e readers. So let's look at the box it comes in. It's very sleek and stylish, it's got metallic text on the top. Um, yeah, it looks really high quality, and for £99, £99 you know, you're getting a lot for your money. So let's jump into the unboxing and just so you know I have unboxed this before I'm just going to show you again what's inside So when you open the box you've got at the top you've got a little logo which is like embossed on the top That's the image that you see when you turn on the Kindle for the very first time And we've got the Kindle itself on the top I'll just lift it out and set it down over here Next, we've got the instruction guide where you can read about how to connect your Kindle to your PC or how to charge it up. We've got the health and safety. And under the health and safety guide, we should have the USB cable, but as I've unboxed it, the USB cable is out, but you will find a USB cable in yours. So yeah, the Kindle is super sleek and sexy and thin. Um, and on the bottom here, we've got the micro USB cable or the micro USB port for charging and the power button. So the Kindle is super thin and I mean super thin. I've got it leaning up against the box here. And to compare it with, I've put down a little skinny pencil to show you how it compares um, as you can see the Kindle is almost as thin as the pencil now one thing I absolutely love about the Kindle is its display its display is super sharp and super crisp it's got 300 pixels per inch so it's like looking at paper um, in the hand, it's super light. It's actually a lot lighter than the smallest books I've got. Um, the back is very sleek. It's got our black rubber coating on the back. And yeah, it's super light. And unlike many tablets, you could hold this thing for hours in your hand and not get tired. As I mentioned, the, the back is coated in rubber, like a black rubbery plastic, but it does get fingerprints. So to get into it, you're going to want to press the power button on the bottom and then swipe the screen to unlock it as you would do, as you would do on a smartphone. Um, on the top here, we've got the menu. Below it, we've got the library, um, my reading lists and recommended books. Um, I'll show you the brightness here. So you can adjust the brightness by tapping this icon. You swipe your finger across the bar here, which should increase the brightness. This is very handy if you're reading at night. We've got airplane mode, which disables the Wi-Fi to save battery power. We've got sync, my Kindle, and we've got the all settings. Now, there's a lot of settings in the Kindle here. Um, one of my favorite settings is the ability to add social media accounts like Twitter or Facebook. And I'll show you how that works later on. Now next up, I want to show you Goodreads. It's basically a book finding application that lets you find your favorite types of books. You can select genres and it should give you a list of recommendations. So I'll scroll down here and find a book that I, that I want to read or that I'd like to read. Um, let's see. The Shining by Stephen King. Let's have a look at that one. So I tap on it, I could see the cover, I could scroll up and look at the book information, I can even rate the book and mark it as I want to read it later. Then I go back to the menu. Now if I tap on my reading lists, I could see the books that I want to read, and my Amazon wish list and the samples that I've downloaded. I can look at recommended books, books that Amazon thinks that I will like based on other books that I've read and stuff. I'll select this one, that's What Zombies Fear. We've got the book information here. I can even download a sample. 
the sample will be downloaded to the Kindle straight away. Now let's look at the store. Now the store is really interesting. You can find loads of books. You can look at deals. You can see the cheaper books, new releases, different categories. We've even got a sale here with 40 books for a pound each. Um, we can see the book information. We can even see the reviews down here, the ratings. And what's really cool is that we can even search for a book. And here's a recent search, Carl Pilkington, a funny, a funny guy who's got a funny show that I like to watch. And yeah, super easy to navigate and find books that you want. So here's the book that we downloaded a sample of. If I open it, I'll show you what it's like. It tells you about the book, typical time to read, the author information, similar books. And if we go back to the start here, if we keep hit tapping the back space, um, we could even see the book cover, which is really cool. Um, and once again, the, the display is super sharp. Even the smallest text is super clear to read. Right, if I go back to the home page, open a book that I've actually bought and that I'm reading. Um, move back a page here. In fact, bring down the menu. We could see what chapter we're on. We could open the display settings here. We could adjust the font. We can even change the font size. I can make it really big here. So it's super big. I can bring up the, the font menu again. I can make it super small. So if you've got good eyes, you can read it super small like that. But my favorite size is probably fourth from the left. That's what I prefer most. Now at the bottom left here, we can see what page we're on. We could change it and we can see how long we've got left in the chapter. We can see how long we've got left in the book and we can see the location of the book and the 30, if you, as you can see, I'm 38% through it. If we go back onto the display settings, you can see I could change spacing, margins, or even the orientation here. And if you don't want to tap that little bottom bit, you can change the reading progress from the display settings. So that's super easy. You can also change different fonts. And yeah. Oh, one thing I want to show you is you can share what you're reading on social media. For example, Twitter. I could share it because I've already added my social media accounts and it's posting the message to Twitter. And what you can also do is you can open up the chapter information and skim through the book really easily and see see what what's on what page. Um, you could skim through different chapters, you could move back and forth pages to see what's coming up. And there's some other feature called X-Ray which lets you delve into the book and find out all the different characters, terms. As you can see, this book's got several characters. It tells you where they're mentioned. Tell, it gives you a little insight into the backstories of all the characters. It's really handy. We can also skip to different chapters here and we can see notes that people have selected. And if I select a, a word, if we hold down on the word, it brings up the dictionary. So if you don't, if your vocabulary is not that good, you can build it by just finding out what words mean. And um, we've got translation. We've got Wikipedia. We can highlight words. We can note them. We can share them. I can select different words. I can, yeah. There's a lot you can do. Really, you can make notes and stuff. Now, what else is cool? Um, oh yeah, we can make, we could actually leave bookmarks on different pages. So if I go to a page that I've not bookmarked, uh, tap on the top here and select a little bookmark icon. We can add that page to our bookmarks or we can see other bookmarks we've made. 
Um, and yeah, we'll go back to the home. So one thing I forgot to mention was that it has a little menu up here. It, the menu is different depending on whether you're in a book or in, whether you're on the home screen. But what it does have is a web browser. Now, I don't recommend buying a Kindle if you plan on browsing the web. Although it is possible, it's just very super slow. Pages sometimes don't load properly. Um, it's a feature that it does have, but I don't recommend going out and buying one of these if you plan on using the web on it much. So guys, that's the Kindle Paperwhite 3 from Amazon. Um, I really highly recommend you consider picking one of these up. Um, I did have an iPad for a few years, and reading on an iPad is really, it's, it's not fun, because your eyes get strained, the light from behind the display shoots up into your eyes, and it really gives you, it gives you a headache after not too long, plus it's a lot heavier and the Kindle, it's super light, it's easy on the eyes, it's it's super affordable. I mean, it's only $99 on sale right now. It's, you can get it for £99 in the UK. I highly recommend picking this up. It's brilliant for reading. I've never read this much in my life. Um, the battery lasts for, God, it lasts for several weeks. I've not had to charge it for at least four weeks now. Um, so the battery, the battery lasts for forever and um, it charges up super fast too and you're not going to find many devices that that last as long as this one does um, so yeah I highly recommend you pick it up I'm going to put links in the description to where you can buy one um, if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you disliked it give it a thumbs down let me know what you thought in the comments um, and please please hit that big red subscribe button it means a lot to me um, you can actually support me on Patreon now um, and help me buy more equipment for this video thing. Um, I'm new to videos and I need I need better equipment, like a better microphone. And yeah, so you can support me from as little as two dollars a month, and that'll help me buy a lot of cool equipment to do more videos. Um, thank you for thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.